Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more Albania or Iberia in Europe Universe Cells 4. We're looking for conscription centers, uh, we're looking for training fields, still. Build one over here and here, even though it's not very efficient. We'll build one in Trebizon. Sort of even maybe consider building them over distant overseas, I mean, crying out loud. To make a sizable impact on our force limit since we have such a good multiplier on force limit we have 70 percent increase so when i increase it by one we actually get 1.7 i think it's time for the final moroccan holdings to fall he is a mothballed fort if we can get there before the end of the month i think we can get rid of some of the bonus plus it's obsolete to us never mind doesn't even matter doesn't even matter at this point, we are probably strong enough that I could just disband my forts, and we could instead build more buildings for a larger army. Who is it that we're paying for that's level 1? It's not very good. Let's keep on trying to get Monarch points. Let's wait until January for or May first. Declare on Morocco. He's actually fast enough to get away, shockingly. Thirty-five percent chance. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, apparently, I should have left behind an extra cannon or two. We could have started a little bit more. I think we might better get there before the tick happens. Saxony's left the coalition. What a wonderful sign. Savoy has left. Savoy is allied with France. Well, if one leaves, many will leave. This is about another one of the fastest wars ever done. Venice has left the coalition. Okay, if you could fabricate in Timbuktu, that would be wonderful. So long as Spain is in the coalition, we can't attack him. There's no more claims to fabricate on him. We don't really need an army down here in Africa anymore. Moroccan separatists will get taken care of by Kabylia. Uh, Ottoman particularists. Ottomans are also quite shattered. Huge truce with them, huge truce with Austria. Uh, we do border Lithuania, we could attack them. Shervin. It's allied to Russia. Russia is mostly willing to defend them. Russia's currently at war with Georgia. Over in Mirti? Ah, Perm is the one who declared. Okay. I do need another claim on Shervin. Probably should get a claim on Crimea since we're over here. We had that claim on Venice at one point, I think. He's left the coalition. He's only allied with Savoy. I don't really want this land, but... You know. Why not? You know, we should just take it. Coring is more important than missionary. We can core, we can convert something else. Hey, we're converting Wien. Vienna. However you pronounce it. We knew that was going to happen. Croatia is now free. Hungarian claims in course? A claim. Let's uh, let's set them to hostile. I'll fabricate on Zagreb. Hopefully Hungary will fabricate on this. Coalition is getting smaller, which means that Spain should leave soon. It's 
It's got a level 440, can't afford to turn it on. Did we get caught here or something? Yeah. I wonder it's taking so long. Nobility or disloyal again? Really? It's because we lost legitimacy. Let's just wait. I think that uh, our legitimacy is going to come back quickly enough. Does it tick in January? I think this one actually ticks monthly. Yeah. I could have sworn I did all of those, but I guess I forgot that one. Claim on Zagreb. You better be fabricating a claim on that guy. Good lord, the military power. Um, no one rest here. Let's go here instead. Mazovia is still the, uh, the emperor. Kind of funny. Our other revival rival can apparently be Brabant, not Austria. No, no, no. Not someone who is, by all, by all standards, uh, still a world power. No, no, no. It's got to be Brabant. Brabant, who has 30 ducats a month in income. Brabant, who has 30k troops. Yeah. No, no, no. Not Austria. Where's Austria? Who has twice as many. No, no, no. It's got to be Brabant. Where the hell is Brabant? That guy. You want me to rival that guy? Are you serious? Like, I mean, I'm not crazy, right? Yeah. No, it's saying Brabant. Brabant! You are horrible people. You are our rival. Are you going to fabricate on Varan? Razd? Hey, Spain left the coalition against us. You know what that means. Declare war. I need a diplomat. I also want to... They have a mothballed fort there. I suppose we could leave... a couple troops there. Mothballed fort here, too. He's not turning any of his forts on, is he? Oh my god, he's got none of them on. Park an army next to every fort that's mothballed. Just waiting on a diplomat, and we'll do it. I don't see any reason to wait. As well. Diplomat, please. August 21st. One month ago, we can declare. Do we take Tech 23? Does anyone even have Tech 23? No one even has it. I can take it right now. Tech 23 is pretty good. It's tactics level. You get better infantry. You get even more cavalry shock. Tons of flanking range. Enough flanking range to actually make it so your infantry can flank more. Takes your flanking range. Infantry can only flank one tile, so the plus 50% takes them from 1 to 1.5. But when you add another plus 50, now they can flank 1 plus 1, so they can flank 2 on either side, which is pretty significant. Order friction on firm. I'm very curious to see what border friction does.
Water friction, 75% aggressive expansion for Mingrelia. So the only really difference here is that it costs less to take it. And you can do concession of defeat. But why would you do that? And Russia's going to protect them, so we don't want to do that. That's annoying. No, I think we want to attack Spain. And we do definitely want to take Sevilla. Their war with Andre has come to a standstill. White peace? Wow, you're pathetic, France. Okay, we'll wait one extra month, and we'll declare on Spain. The Portuguese rebellion is not going to be a big concern, I think. Champa has civil war. Oh no! We'll declare on the 1st of November. And France has left the coalition, which means we need to attack France now, too. We have three claims on them. We'll make it over uh, Jan. I mean, that's all of his forts that we just marched on. This is the only one that's actually going to have a garrison. There's no garrison here, so we'll take this automatically. Or take all of them automatically. Should have put the siege leader in charge of this one, though. Forty percent war score. Another one of those very, very fast wars, huh? Should have put the leader in charge. Let's grab her. We'll do a shuffle between these two to get her in charge. She'll be there on the thirteenth. Available mercenaries plus fifty percent. That's a lot. Okay, I think that's going to be the end of the war. We'll sort by war score cost, and we'll go for the cheapest ones. Not the distance stuff, I don't care about that at all. Let's actually sort by Diplo cost, because then we know we have claims on it. Of course, I need that claim to finish on Sevilla. So we have to wait a whole year. I, I need Sevilla. This is 74 piece deal. How much is Sevilla going to cost? Only 16. And it's got all this stuff. I need this. So we have to wait for that. Alright. Which one do we want? We don't want to lose loyalty and influence. So I can either handle it with the rebellion or handle it with money. Money's easier. Significantly easier. Let's get the leader unappointed because we don't want to risk her dying. She's going to be very instrumental, I think, in the war. If we get this, that's going to give us the ability to get a claim on Asturias for the next war as well. Now we're going to wait for our claim on Sevilla. Siege tick here is 45 days long. It actually gives me quite a bit of time to reinforce, but I don't know if we can get there in time. Five more days? Nice. Sweet. 45 day siege ticks are pretty good. And uh, hold on, we're at 1196 military points. So we could roll generals, we could do development. I think we do development. So we're looking for the, the largest number here. 654 is the largest I've seen so far. 736 is the highest I've seen so far. Okay, 
that's pretty good. So we'll find a 700 plus one. That's close to the top of the cheap list. Oh, there we go. Burgess, 736. Only 31. Seven thirty six for thirty six is pretty good as well. Alright, that brings us down to a pretty reasonable amount now. Let's get these guys on the border of France. Alright. March of eighty two. Yeah, we're going to wait for March. And actually, since there's unrest down here, we'll park those guys down there. We'll stay at war for a little bit. Uh, make Great Britain like us. Seems like a reasonable mission if we can accomplish it. Uh, we can. Cool. Did you fabricate a claim on that? You have not. Why are you such a loser? He doesn't even have any good allies. Get to work. You're slacking off. So we've gained 60k manpower cap. Sorry, 60k man force limit cap. And we're still not quite up there. I think I'm going to just sit here for a little bit. Um, for now, I'm going to take a break, but yeah, this is, uh, we're going to wrap this campaign up here pretty quick. I, I can't really see it taking much more than, I don't know, somewhere between 5 and 20 videos. I mean, we're just waiting on truce timers and claims, really. Like, we're strong enough, we can, build, we can beat anyone. So, we got this achievement on lock. Uh, we should also maybe spend some time looking through the achievement list, see what else we can accomplish. We can, let, we can do this while the game's running, so. Alright, for now, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.